You need to talk to Jackson about your testimony? I'm sure he needs to talk to Greenlee first, and he needs me. He'll, he'll find me. Yeah, and he'll put you on the witness stand and make you look like a murderer. Yes. I know that's the plan. I just wish you didn't have to be so good at it. I would have gotten you excused from court today if I could have. Why haven't you? You've controlled everything else in my life. Because it wouldn't look good, and I'm trying to protect you. By sacrificing Ryan? No, thank you. What Ryan and I are trying to do is save your life. You should be doing the same thing. So, what do your casino partners want? Is it just about money? It's always about money. It's my job to convince them otherwise. Well, you can be pretty persuasive when you want to be. You know this, huh? Yeah. I love this, Zach. I do. I love us being here together, you, me, and the boys. Mm. I just, I want so much to have everything just be done. I want to be free and clear of everything that's caused a problem. And we will be. What? Nothing. I'm just, you know, I'm enjoying you. Uh, I'd do that. <laughs> you know what? Instead of doing that, why don't you go visit your mother? Don't worry about that. Oh, uh, you're trying to get rid of me now. No, I just I got a business meeting, you know, with my lawyer. It's just, it's boring. Yeah, boring casino stuff? Yeah, well, it's, uh, it's what it is. Hey, look at me. Nothing, no one's going to come between this homecoming. Deal? Deal. Let's go. Okay. I am so sorry. Hey, I didn't know. You told me their mom died in childbirth, but... You never mentioned the date. It's not like you go around advertising it, I guess. But how does that make you feel? I don't know. But it's not like I knew or anything. But it must make you feel like a, a little sad, right? I just wonder what it would have been like to have a mother. But anyways. Oh. I my God. What? I just realized something. Your birthday is October 31st. I don't really celebrate no, my birthday. No, no, I know. It's really, really hard. I do. But it's the one day we have that is completely ours. No, it's, it's not. It belongs to her. It's about making sure that you never forget her. Have you heard anything from JR? Why would I hear from him? He told you what you could do with any deal between us. Well, I'm concerned about all the implications he was making. About something dark and scary in your past that I should be worried about. You don't think I'm dark and scary enough in the present? <laughs> Look, JR said something about family not meaning anything to you. Do you really believe that? No, I don't. Not at all. I see how respectful you are to Palmer's legacy, how hard you're trying to fulfill his wishes. But J.R. was very specific in the words he chose. Look, Caleb, I'm not trying to pry. I'm really not. I have, heaven knows I have enough going on in my own life without having to worry about yours. But if JR has found out something about you, then I really need to know what it... what it is. There isn't. Hi. Hi. Your mom's inside. Oh, Come on in. um... Well, if, if this is a bad time, uh, actually, honey, um, actually, we're Caleb just and I were finishing up. Go ahead, you must have a lot to catch up on. Really, Mom, this can wait. Oh no, no, really, it's fine. But where, where is your husband? I'm just shocked that you could pry yourself away. Yeah, Zach is. Well, he's trying to sell the casinos, and his 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 business partners are giving him a hard time. But he just he refuses to let me get involved. He refuses to let you get involved? Of course you're involved. You're his wife. Yeah, I just... It's like I, I just want so badly to make things work. 
It's like Zach and I are on the brink of something great again, and I don't want to screw it up. Well, then don't. Sometimes I wish I could just sit back and let other people handle things. It'd be so much easier. Ah, uh, maybe. But the truth is, when we love someone, we will walk through hell for them. And back. And back. That's right. You got it. <laughs> we do. We'll do that. I wanted to see that it was true. You were really back. I really am. What do you think? <laughs> Hi. Oh, it's good oh, to see you. Good to see you. Oh, is, uh, is Kendall, uh, are you and she good? Well, yeah, no, yeah, she's going to see your mother. So oh. I don't know how she is right now, but we're fine. Oh, that's good to hear. We missed you. I'm sorry I haven't called you. It's been real busy. Just, you know, problems with business, it's never enough hours in a day, right? <laughs> I feel a little responsible for that. You're not. Oh, well, I did ask you for help raising international funds for the Miranda Foundation. I didn't mean to add to your burden. It's not a burden. I'll be out from under this very soon. Well, it'll be great for things to be back to normal again. Yeah. Are the kids upstairs? They're upstairs. Go see them. Okay, seriously, Zach. Thank you for coming to our rescue. The center took a big hit after that money scandal with David and Greenlee. You saved us. We're family. I'm here. You see me on TV? There's a big star. Made all the local stations. My testimony changed the whole Hayward murder trial. Nick Pearson. So what's the real malfunction here, Liza? Mm -hmm. The legal wise, you and I are either side of the fence? No, it's because you and Jack sandbagged me with Nick Pearson, star witness. Sandbagged you? Yeah. Really? Well, what were we supposed to do? Just ignore the fact that he heard Ryan say somebody was going to die just before David did? You purposely hid this from me. Why'd you do that? Was you afraid that I was going to ask him too many questions? Maybe. Or maybe it's simply the fact that of all the people around here interested in the truth, you don't seem to be one of them. I'll see you inside. Hey. I hope... Your dad finally got through to you and convinced you that all of this, everything, is just to get you a not guilty verdict. I didn't ask you to do this. This is not some noble act of sacrifice, Greenlee. I don't want to go to prison, really. I don't, but there's a witness out there that heard me say that I was ready to kill David. I think... I think that needs to get out there. You promised to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? I do. <clears throat> you may be seated. Mr. Lavery, it's safe to say that you and the defendant had a long history. Yes, we have. How would you describe the relationship? Well, that's not easy. Um, and truthfully, our relationship has never really been that, that easy. You know, I, no matter who we were with or what we were doing, we just, um, we just always had a connection. How did you and Greenlee meet? At WRCW. Well, hello? Hey. I'm Greenlee, the new intern. And you are? Ryan. Nice to meet you, Greenlee. That's a very unusual name. I'm an unusual woman. <sighs> the timing just wasn't ever right, at least not at the beginning. But that did change. Yes, that changed. Yet we even got married once. Dynamite kiddo. I'm oh, sorry, what was that? <laughs> it was the, um, it was the ring I gave her. It was a toy. It was just a, it was a joke. I didn't... I didn't really take the marriage very seriously at first, at least not until I, uh, I realized. You realized what? That I, uh, was uh, developing feelings that I'd never felt before. 
that um, but what we had was more than just two people that clicked. You know, it was. It just kind of felt as if something was putting us together. A year and a half ago, you thought Greenlee had died. How did you feel then? Like I'd lost part of myself. You testified at the big trial, huh? No, I didn't just testify, little lady. I was the main man. Want to see my interview on Channel 7? Mm. Don't you think your mom would want you to be happy on your birthday? Like I said, it's not my day, it's hers. But that's what I'm saying. You can honor her memory and celebrate it as well. When you say it, it almost makes sense. Yeah. So, uh, we'll combine Halloween with your birthday. We'll uh, hook up with Damon. And, oh, we'll get you a cake. What do you say? Uh, I don't know. It's... No? Well, Asher, you saved my life, so you owe me the right to pay you back. Thanks for the offer, but... You know, not this year. Well, why not? It, it's... Why? I can't explain it, really, but... You know, next year, everything could change. And, in fact, I'm counting on it. Let's focus on how much Junior is made off of nanotech, shall we? I think that's a good idea. But what if JR focuses on you, Caleb? What if he decides to even fabricate something about your past? Some dirt, something. Like what? I don't know. Maybe Sonia? Maybe you have to trust me. Caleb, how could I possibly trust you? You clearly are withholding some information. Erica, not everything's about business. Some things are private. 